I'm Bella Lita. Susie, glad you're here. Susie's one of our presenters. I see MNC uh, Treasures in the house. She's one of our presenters, Cheryl. So guys, if you're coming in and you're one of our presenters today, be sure and let everybody know. But you should see a green circle around their picture and that will give you a clue. So that is our little logo. And so hopefully you guys will be seeing them pop in. Hi, Christy. I was waiting for you, girl. Hi, Patty. Doing good, guys. I'm glad that you're here. I did go ahead and do a base coat on my wood. So this is one of those large panels um, from Dollar Tree. Y'all, these are a great they're a great buy when you find them. So our Dollar Tree has these, and so I am using, the, you can use these for so many things, by the way, but I am gonna paint on it. We're gonna do a reindeer. We are going to add all kind of embellishments. If I don't talk too much and we have time, we're gonna add uh, not only ornaments, but some lights. So we'll see what we have time for. And if not, you know, I can always finish off camera and show you guys a picture, but that's what we're going for today. Hi, Mary Beth. Good morning to you. Woke up to snow. You guys, I love it. So feel free to share your pictures of the snow in the showcase group today because we love seeing it. You know, here in Texas, we don't get a lot. We get ice, but not snow. Hi, Tony. Glad you're here. Hi, Patty. Hello to everybody. Hi, Debbie. Clifton's Crafty Casa Gen Genie. Is that right, Genie? Good morning. Glad y'all are here. Thank you for sprinkling, Patty. You don't see me in the Art and Craft Showcase. Can somebody verify? Because I, I am supposed to be in there. I have it supposedly going in there. So maybe scroll or refresh. Somebody let me know. I don't really know what I can do. I'll just have to put it after if it's not. Debbie, there is a group called Art and Craft Showcase. It's my group. And that's where all of us will be today. So you can hang out there all day and see us back to back or you can follow along to the different pages, but it's much easier to be in the group, but it's your choice. So in that group, and I think on my page, so on Art and Grace, I have schedules printed out, or you know, pictures, you can screenshot or print of your time zone. So if you're in Eastern, you've got one. If you're in Pacific, you've got a different one. That way there's no confusion on times because it does get confusing with all of us creators in different time zones. Good morning, everybody. I'm glad y'all are coming in. Let me know how you're doing. Good. I'm glad you're here, Kathy. Okay. So I'm going to get started. Just know that if you're not in the, in the showcase group, I'll get you in there when I'm done as fast as I can. Hi, Lydia. See, it's so hard for me to stop looking at comments. I love seeing you guys come in. Okay. I'm going to show you how to paint this super easy. I did do the background because I knew that would take a long time and I had to dry it. But all I did was I took a little sandpaper and I have the lightest strength and just gave it just a quick sand. It was really actually good. It didn't really need much, but I just gave it a quick sand, put uh, two coats of my sealer. Do I have it handy? I did that part last night and it's the DecoArt multi-purpose sealer and then just painted it blue. I'm going to do the sides really quick here. Just looking for my brush. My water's on the, on the opposite side. Hi Kim. Good morning. Hi Lori. Hi Diana. You're on Art and Grace. Did anybody confirm if they saw it in the group? Blue skies and sunshine. Lori, when is it ever going to get to be winter there in Florida? Um, that's okay though. It's really still fall. So I hope that your team wins today, guys. I, I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but you know, I kind of gave up on ours. So I think I'm going to just start rooting for Alabama or somebody. I don't know. I, I teased the other day. I can't, I can't talk about our team or my blood pressure going to go up. <laughs> I get so irritated because, you know, we're just, I see, I can't even, I can't even talk about it because I'm like, we just pay that coach too much money. I sound like a, you know, cranky old lady, but anyway. Okay, so on to other news. How are you guys this morning? Has anybody decorated for Christmas yet? I know it's really early, but I think when you're a creator and you are, you're teaching things, you're just like ready because I'm totally ready. Our house is uh, getting unfall. You know, we're packing away all our fall stuff yesterday. And then I think today we're going to do some of the Christmas. Of course, I'll be really busy with this. Not much winter, Lori, I know. Hi, Debbie. How are you this morning? Blue skies and sunshine in New Mexico. Roxanne, awesome. 
I love New Mexico. Oh, thank you guys. This was a cute little t-shirt. You just have to watch because I think Facebook had, uh, you know, one of those little boutiques that advertises the t-shirts and, and it was on sale. So I snatched it up. Don't ask me where. I can always put the link later because uh, I can't remember the name because I'm not used to it. I just grabbed it. Packing up fall today too. Good. Thank you guys for sprinkling. I just saw that. I think it was Debbie. I'm sorry. Not positive even who said it. Okay. So I've got the sides. Let's go ahead and do our little deer. So guys, this is going to be like whimsical. It's not going to be realistic. I do have a more realistic deer painting. Not fine art, but fun art. But it is a little more realistic on my YouTube page. But today, I knew we would not have time for anything like that. So we're going to do kind of an easy easy lesson here. Good morning, guys. Oh man, I just want to read your comments, but I've got to stay focused or I won't get done. Okay, let me grab a round brush and we're going to go ahead and start with our horn uh, antlers. I started to say horns. Um, I'm going to load up my brush with this tan color and then dip a little bit into the brown. So a little bit of my brush has the brown. Now, if you want the tracer and the supply list for everything I'm using today, um, I've got it in the link or in the description of this video, but it, you just click on it. You're gonna subscribe to my email. If you subscribe to my email list, then you get that as like a little thank you. It just comes in your email. I did test it out to be sure it works. Uh, and it came through fine. So if you don't see it in your email, that just means it probably went to promotions. So if you're on uh, Gmail or something like that, you know how they have the different folders that they kind of put our emails in. So you see that I'm just letting the brush do the work, guys. Don't overthink it. You're just getting a little brown and a little tan and you're just starting at the tip and just working your way down till they meet. And some can be a little darker than the others because that's how they truly are. They're, they're not all just one solid color. Good morning, Sheila. Sheila, Sheila. Why can't I not say your name? Sheila, Sheila. I can't say it. What's wrong with me? I feel like I'm having a stroke or something. Sheila, Sheila. Oh my gosh. That was scary. I was like, I, can, I can't get it out. I think it's because I'm conscious of how you spell your name, to be honest. That's probably why I can't spit it out. But that was a little scary. I'm not going to lie. I was like, am I having a stroke? Okay. So, y'all, I hope y'all are seeing easy peasy. We're just going down each little antler till they kind of come down to the center here. Thank you, Lori, for sprinkling. Hi, Jennifer. How are you this morning, my friend? I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling better. And if you're not, you tell me and we'll find you a replacement girl because if you are too, anybody is ever too sick to go on, I don't want them to feel like they have to. Uh, we've, you know, got a fantastic lineup, but if we need to find a replacement, there is no problem, guys. We... Family and health always comes before crafting. I was looking to see... Zena, what'd you post? Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Good morning, everybody. The event is called Christmas with Friends, if that's what you're asking, um, Debbie. You have an, oh, okay, Mary Beth. Well, if you, everybody was accepted as of 5 a.m. So after that, I've been working on other things and have not had time to try to get people in. So I'll get you in when I'm done, as fast as I can. But when you see events, I'll just tell you, please go ahead and get in those groups. It's so hard on us to wait till the day of and uh, we're, we just do our best, but you know, people are gonna have to wait and I hate that. Okay, so as we're getting a little more complete, I'm kind of just looking at it and seeing what I think. And if I think it needs, you know, a little more, I'll add it, a little less, I'll kind of 
add some more tan but I just kind of look and see what I think these can all be a little different they don't have to be the same and then I'm just kind of bringing it down into the middle here we have so many fun things lined up for you today guys okay let's see thanks for the hearts I saw some hearts flying okay I'm scrolling I'm scrolling and let's stop right here on well crafty peep I'm gonna have to not choose you since you're a presenter <laughs> I'm gonna scroll again and scroll I landed on you again okay I need to scroll further back good morning Charlotte okay Michelle Watowski yes you won so please message me your shipping address, okay? And I will get you some happy mail. We have happy mail all day today. So it will benefit you to tune in, to sprinkle us out, get more friends in here. We sure do appreciate you guys that are doing that. Um, it definitely is fun for us to have a good, good crowd and, uh, you know, meet new friends and I think it's great too for uh, lots of people are kind of lonely and just don't have anything really going on today so it gives them something to do so see how you're just kind of blending your colors I'm letting the brush do the work just letting it blend and then as we come down down to this part I'm adding a lot more of the dark brown and we're going to start at the bottom and come up with that darker brown so lots of dark brown, a little bit of light, and just kind of come up and meet the lighter brown. Oh, and I did chalk that on. You, you saw that. That's a chalk line. So I can go right over it, and it's no problem covering it up. I have this problem of really... I guess it's FOMO. I want to know what y'all are saying. I want to read all the comments. <laughs> so I knew if I didn't do a few things before that I would not get done. So I'll, I'll go back and read the comments though because it's really fun for me to see the conversations that happen and some, you know, you guys know each other. We, we all kind of show up on the same pages a lot. And so just kind of bringing these two together. I like a blendy look. I'm kind of just going for it and doing whatever it wants to do, uh, letting those colors blend. And that's why sometimes you'll paint something two times and they, it comes out different if you let your creative creativity just kind of go. Don't, don't try to make it, like when you do one, don't try to make it just like mine. Do yours and let it be you, you know, and let it just kind of do what it wants to do. You see how easy, y'all. I mean, when I show you something to paint, you see it's, I'm showing you things that you can do and be successful at. I'm using one brush this whole time. I have not traded brushes or anything. Now I am going to kind of clean that up where I wasn't quite paying attention. So let me get a little of the blue out. Oh, Trisha, thank you. Appreciate you. Trisha's in my private group and so they get a lot a lot of more in-depth lessons and we we definitely have a great great time in there I love I love the private groups for getting to know people and you know that's where you let your hair down and you can just tell them anything and they're they're your friends and so I love my private group okay cleaning up my little edges there where i wasn't too careful but you don't even have to do that if you don't want to hi tita glad you're here this is a six i believe i'm pretty sure it's a six it's a six or a seven um i can just tell by size but it's covered up with paint so i can't see the number so six or a seven y'all see the sign okay y'all holler at me if i get it to where you can't see but that's really all i'm gonna do to this I think uh, because we're just I'm gonna maybe darken up the inner ear right here uh, we're gonna I want to dry it and add our embellishments and hopefully add lights 
if I haven't wasted too much time looking at my comments. You can kind of dry brush once this starts to dry up here. Kind of dry brush a little if you want to. But just easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. Okay, let's get going here. Oh, I do need to kind of create a face. Hold up. I just kind of... This actually could be the back. So if you're like, I don't want to mess with the face, what, you could do this as the back. But let's dry this and then I will do a little face. And I, by face, I mean... Let me simple. Oh, Lori, thank you. Let's see if I can pin that. <laughs> it says Juju's Bloomers. This is, <laughs> but yes, that's the uh, that's the group where you can see all of us all day long, back to back. We have surprises all day long. We have fantastic creatives listen guys if you are a creative business owner and you didn't know or you wish you could have done this I'll tell you the best way is watch because I've been talking about this for a long time and a couple of my lives I've said you know let me know if you want to be in it so um, just kind of anybody that you follow you, you listen to them and you hear them talking about upcoming things uh, that's kind of how you get invited and things. I also, uh, you know, kind of try to pay back some people who've had me in their event and give a, give a, uh, give new people a little chance. So all kind of things. Um, I got to look at this to do his eyes. I'm just doing simple little eyes, y'all. Simple, simple little curve and then go out and... Do I want to I'm trying to think I don't even remember what I did on my other one let me just look at my other hold please hold please okay okay I guess I can show you but that's my backup so if I don't have time I, I'm just gonna abort this and start working on that one <laughs> y'all we have almost 200 friends watching so let's get it up over 200 here's what I ask so today we have just some of the most fantastic people uh, you know in this event and some people you won't know they're maybe new to you please give them a follow I ask that from the bottom of my heart because it is so hard as a creator uh, to grow your pages and so would you please do that for me I know a lot of you guys will and I really appreciate it um, they they need that support and it's it, I can't tell you what a good feeling it is to be in an event. Maybe it's your first time to be in an event. And then you look at your number and you see that you gain 50 people. It's just the most beautiful thing that we can do for these other creatives. So give them a follow, y'all. It's almost Christmas time and they're trying to grow and they're helping us have all these great ideas. So thank you guys for doing that the ones that will I sure appreciate it okay so just given the face a little definition you can see I mean upside down it's probably not that great but when you do yours you can really make it perfect let me grab a I know I had a little brush sitting here how does that happen because I had my little detail brush I wanted sitting right there and now I don't know I don't know probably under my little paper okay we're grabbing a detail brush these are my favorite brushes for details they're uh, very inexpensive I got them on Amazon on Black Friday or whatever it was called um, not Black Friday what did we have anyway one of those kind of days where they had a special and uh, it's Jenny or Jerry Q is the name of the brush and it came in a set and they're just really good so I really like these for my small details so for this little like eye that I'm doing I'm just going to follow along my little chalk mark and get the little eyes on and that's it that's all you gotta do and then we will do uh, a nose but I think for the nose I decided to do a little wood bead but you can You know what look at that I didn't even think about using an actual ornament 
Oh, that would be cute. What do y'all think? That's a good idea. Do y'all like the ornament? Oh, that's cute. Let's do the ornament. All we have to do is hot glue that on and that is going to be adorable. Okay, change of plants. I was going to use a wood bead, you know, like a half wood bead, but I think I like this better. But you could use a half wood bead, a wood bead. Um, and what I was going to do is paint it, but I think this is even cuter. So hold on, let's just hot glue this little baby right on. Oh yeah, that is cute. And this gives me another idea for this. Can y'all see? Uh, you could hang a stocking off of this. That would be cute to hang a stocking off. So if you have like a little cabinet pull or a, like this, just a little ornament that you hot glue on. Look how cute. That was a happy accident right there. Happy accident, Christy. <laughs> okay, I love it. And then from the side, you, you know, it's 3D. So, but you could totally hang a little ornament. I mean, a little, well, you can hang an ornament off, but a stocking would be super cute. So here's what we're going to do. I have um, Totally Dazzled Bling, which this, I am going to be giving some Totally Dazzled away today. So, um, you know, Here's what my thought was, was do we want to use these as ornament hangers? So hot glue them on. The other option is of course to paint, but I want to hot glue these cute ornaments on here. Can y'all see? So just little ornaments all hot glued on. So let's start hot gluing and tell me what you think about the silver. Can y'all see? about the silver. Is it too much? I don't think it is for a whimsical little thing, but y'all tell me. See that? Thanks, Tammy. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Jackie. I appreciate you guys. Good morning, Rosie. Let's see. Y'all tell me what you think. I'm just going for it and just hot gluing these on random places. I don't have anything, you know, pre-planned on where to put them. You love the nose, Valerie. Thank you, my VIP friend. Small drawer pull, yes, or button. Yeah, y'all y'all always have great ideas. So when I do something, y'all are always like, oh, and you can do that. And I love your ideas. And that's why I love share. you know, so get into the Art and Craft Showcase today and um, we will get you in there at some point and then share your stuff. So if you are a creator or you make things, go ahead and share your pictures because they inspire other people. You know, somebody else will see it and think, oh, you know, maybe they don't do things like this, but they'll go, I could make a card and paint little, you know, circle and then use buttons on the card. So everybody kind of has a different twist. Not too much. You love it. Okay, cool. So look at these cute little ornaments I found. Um, mm, don't ask me where now. But I've been using, oh, I've been using them on my glass art. So you probably can't see it, but some of those trees back there, yeah. So see that Christmas tree in the middle and those, that's where I've been using these little ornaments. But today I was like, oh yeah, this will be cute. Well, not today. So that's how easy this is. You saw how easy the painting is. And then we're just hot gluing on. So yes, you can do it. Don't tell me you cannot. Because you know you can. You know deep down you can. When people say, oh, I can never do that. I just think they, I don't know. Because you can. <laughs> it's just easy. It really is. Oh, thanks, Kim. I can't wait to see what you guys, I don't know how much is too much and, um, forgot to glue that one. I don't know how much is too much and, but they're so cute. I kind of want to use all of them, you know. I let a little hot glue drip there. That's not going to be good there. But okay, okay, okay. Y'all, I love this one. It just isn't right the right project, I don't think. 
but I'm going to show it to you. You see that? It's a gorgeous little glass cardinal. Now this I don't understand. It's got, they've got all of them have this little hole back here. So somebody tell me why. Is that just how they had to make it? I don't understand. But anyway, I thought it was so pretty. Um, so I was originally going to put it on here, but I think it's so big. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know because I'll put it, but it just seems really giant compared to everything else. Do it scared, Lori. Amen, sister. You bet. Because, well, anybody who's ever graded anything didn't know anything about it when he began or she you know like probably was terrible for years before they got good so yes do it scared how are we doing on time my apple watch is dead forgot to take it off and charge it so 9 30 we're good we have 15 minutes i'm glad that i started early you know did things ahead so i could okay i guess we'll hot glue this let me take my glue gun off and bring it to the thing. So let's see here. I want y'all to be able to see, but I think I need to turn it for a second and, and do a little line. I'm trying to do a pretty straight line. Easy, y'all. It's so you can stick a branch. Of course it is. That's so smart. Yes, that's exact. As soon as I read that, I was like, of course. Yeah. Yes, Christy. Okay, so this stuff is really fun to use. You just cut off what you need. Just go down the row. Save the bird for, yeah, it's big, isn't it? for this but somebody said they liked it the little woodland bird is actually perfect on his left ear um i just love cardinals you guys and i'm sure i know a lot of you do some of y'all tell me if you've taken the class because you know i've got a, a brand new well new you know over the last week i guess class that i've taught on how to paint the cardinal and everybody who's done it has done so good i love love seeing People try new things and and it turns out so cute I'm just kind of bringing it to the to the project and then cutting off what I don't need this one can be short we're just hot glue in the back to get this little thing stuck on Let's see super cute I hope we have time for lights I'm kind of trying to hurry get these glued on so that we do I'm literally gonna drill holes right here on the wood the carno yes oh yes Mickey it is it's um it's ten dollars to take the class if you're in the VIP group of mine, which is a paid monthly membership, then it's free. And if you want one of the Cardinal kits so that you can make the glass art yourself, it's 35, but then the tutorial is free. You don't have to pay for the tutorial if you buy a kit. You just get the tutorial with it. And hopefully somebody's on here that's done it and can say if they if they like the class if it was easy to do you know all the things it's extremely comprehensive i'll tell you that so if you've wanted to learn how to paint it's the perfect class to learn how to paint it, i go in just great detail it's also the perfect class if you want to learn how to do glass art resin because i, I again i go into great detail Oh, I like that. I'm glad we used the bling. That's cute. Do y'all like it? You like the bling, guys? Let me know. Oh, thank you, Patty. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jackie, for sprinkling. Hi, Linda Sue. I'm glad to see you, my friend. How are you this morning? 
Uh, yes, Lori's got the group pinned to the bottom here. So if you guys need in the group, just give us a little time. Debbie, I'm so, so sorry. Debbie, send me your, um, your mailing address, please. I'm going to send you a little something. Hi, Christina. How are you this morning? Rest Covered Cottage. Glad you're here. Thank you, Patty. Okay, so let's see about adding lights, y'all. And I have a couple of more ornaments I wanted to use, but I think we're okay. But isn't that a cute one? Um, I really like the, the ones we have. So let's oh, keep looking at that like I... 934. Okay, we got 10 minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've got my drill ready to go. Um, this is not the ideal way. Ideally, you would... Oh, man, a drill bit. Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. I've got to find a bigger drill bit. Okay, so... Ideally, you would... Let's have a drill 101. So just unscrew this and take this out. Put this one in, screw it back on. Easy peasy. Um, ideally, you would drill your holes, then sand, then paint. But I didn't know if we'd have time. So we're gonna do it this way and it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We're just gonna get some holes in here so we can add some Christmas lights. And yes, I have gone through and hit my desk before. That's 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 just my way sorry for the noise mute it if if it bothers you but this won't take long You've never seen me drill before, have you? Oh, almost went. In I guess I could do his ear. Why not? Okay, we're gonna start with that. And I'm gonna grab a clean brush to just wipe off my little dust particles. So you see, guys, things don't have to be perfect. You can do things all different ways and get to the same result. So I've got my lights. I'm going to show you how I do this. If you've never done this, it's super easy. You're going to take one of the lights. These are the kind of like fairy lights, I guess you call them. If there's another word, y'all can tell me. See that? But you're going to take a light and you are going to bend your wire so that that little light is just like so. You see that? And poke that through. So I'm gonna start down here, poke this light through from the back, and then I just kind of bend it so that it kind of stays, and then go to the next. So I'm next one I'm taking and I'm bending, and then I'm gonna put it through the next hole. And just get these on here like that. This is a different project for me because I typically paint and do glass art, but I love Christmas crafts. I do Christmas crafts, you know, every year. So I decided today, you're getting a little of both, I guess. You got a little painting, a little easy painting and and some a drill 101 lesson. Because every now and then I have people say, you know, I've never used a drill and I'm like, what? Never used a drill, what? easy now these have a green cord I did not notice it when I bought them uh, but it's okay I mean it doesn't bother me you can paint your background like red if you want to and do your dear black you know just do like a silhouette and do it black if you want to you can do this to match your decor you could make it for a college kid in their college colors you know, just think outside the box on things like this. They don't have to be just like this. Okay. 
did this oh that's his nose I was I probably did that not being careful I didn't even think about his nose so let me glue this back on poor guy because that's a really cute little knob I love that so again that's just an ornament but you could use a drawer pull um, what else a drawer pull what else is kind of like that knob I love the nose I think that's the cutest thing okay so then what I do when I do this is I tape this down I will just go back and tape it down with whatever tape I have I've used masking tape box tape you know packing tape <laughs> Tita you're welcome you know all that kind of stuff then I take the little box and I'll put it like this and then I tape that down I don't usually glue it because I'll pull it out at the end of the season and take the batteries out and save it but um, that's what I typically do so I don't think I have tape because I know I know we used it in another room yesterday so let me see let's get this how are we doing on time oh my goodness let's check okay we're good we're good we're good I'm so excited to see Jen next if she's feeling up to it um, of course, if she's not, I, bless her heart, I should have checked sooner, but it's been kind of crazy this morning. So anyway, you get the idea. Just tape it down, and then all this extra you'll tape, or you can actually buy lights that have less, or you can drill more holes. You get the idea. I am going to tape that down just so you guys can see. So you literally can do it just like this and just tape it back there. Oh, it's cute, guys. Hold on, I gotta get this light fixed. It's kind of cute. I'm ready for y'all to see it. I just took his nose off again. Not being careful. Hold, please, because I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see full effect, so. I get this nose back on there now again if you want all the supplies that I used today and the tracer it's in the description of this video it's you sign up for my email list y'all I haven't sent an email out in months I'm really bad about email but I, I do want to get better it's my goal so don't worry you will not get many from me <laughs> if you sign up you can cancel if you don't want to get them really but um, that's it do y'all see it's flashing how cute now you can make these lights to where they don't flash but um, that's gonna be super cute at night lit up and you saw how easy that's the thing we as creatives we get so excited to show you guys these things because they're easy they're fun um, you can do this with grandkids let them go with you to help pick out a little set of ornaments let them do a little one themselves you know all kind of things but thank you guys oh thanks for the stars and I love when I look up and see something like that happen so you get oh there's sugar in the south and uh, Susie Yes, I love seeing my little presenters, little green frames. Awesome, I'm glad. We're gonna have so much fun today, guys. We're gonna have so much fun. What do y'all think? I love it. So let's just recap. This is like a wood panel that came from Dollar Tree. So you see, oh, I'm gonna show you the other one I did because I did add some, on the other one I added some snowflakes out of this metallic paint and then I dropped in some diamond dust so instead of doing the lights now I have not put ornaments on this one yet but this is what my backup was in case I didn't have time I was going to abort the first this one and go to this but see how I put the little I just used a stencil put down my stencil and tap tap tapped with my sponge brush I don't see it here it is is it yeah so take your little sponge brush with that paint and tap 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 and then immediately put on your diamond dust and it just sticks to it 
So you can do kind of a background like this if you want to, and then put your ornaments down. So there's another example. This is the half wood bead. So you see that half wood bead? That's another example. I painted it red and then put glitter paint over it. So a couple of different ways you can do this. And that's just a wood panel from the Dollar Tree. Some ornaments that came in a package of, you know, multi-ornaments. And the Totally Dazzled Bling, which I am going to give away all day. Look how much I have. So you'll get a little happy mail, which my happy mail is not anything exciting. It's just little things to say thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing and, and all the things you do for us. Um, appreciate it. And I beg of you to please follow these creatives today. If you don't already, which I know many of you follow them already, but some of them might be new to you. Give them a follow, y'all. It will make their day to come back and see their number grow. And we're all trying to grow. So if you're not following me, I would love to have you follow me as well. Um, you sent a private message? Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Send me a message. Just go to um, Deb Brown or Art Grace Paint. You know, my page is Art and Grace. And just hit message me or something like that. Oh, thanks. I'm glad y'all like it. Let's do another you guys are going to have to message me though with your email address, I mean with your shipping address because I can't keep up with, you know, trying to hunt people down. So I'm going to go back, go back, go back and pick another one for some happy mail. Brenda Moon Flinders. Hi, Brenda. You got happy mail and I will have your address. So awesome. Thank you guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to get off Jennifer's next. Please go follow Jennifer with Home Sweet Create. And if um, I don't see her link in here. I'm sorry I didn't put it ahead of time, but just you'll find her. We love Jen. Go give her some love. Give her some hearts and all the things, and we'll see you. Have a great day today, guys. I'll see you in the comments. Bye.